But more importantly, can you do the speed up challenge? Let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, a legend, a young legend, take it off. Listen, you headline. Young legend. Young. Young. <laughs> Ladies, I'm going to need a little bit of peace and quiet because I've come to chat to my brother, a prince from Portacot. How are you doing, Omar? I'm all right, man. I'm all right, man. Thank you for coming through for me always. This guy right here, man. This guy. My brother. Bro, give My it brother. up. Give it up for this guy. My this guy brother. is this guy is one of the realest we have in the game. Appreciate it, my brother. First of all, you caught the dreads off. What was the what was the thinking behind that, bro? It's in my album. Oh. <laughs> this is the backstage area of where all the celebrities are. You can see this kind of space vibe. It's crazy. Each tube you see here has got a celebrity. You're making us so proud. The money is long now, my brother. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, the shops you do here, the energy god himself. How does it feel to be doing that much work with the success of your song? It's crazy, man. <laughs> it takes the toll. Yes. It's a long time. It feels good. These are the moments for us. It's be exciting to ask you 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 to got the hottest record in the world right now the most vital record in the entire world congratulations brother how does it feel feels um, like a blessing yeah yeah feels like a blessing I'm just like happy and grateful to God to be a part of the generation that is taking the whole thing to another level the album is just um, a title boy alone you already know and um, the whole idea behind Boy Alone is uh, uniqueness. Yeah. It's, it doesn't really mean me being alone all the time and being, it just means uniqueness. I'm alone, I'm, I'm alone on my lane. I'm doing my stuff by myself. Only me can do my stuff. Yeah, and the whole story behind the album is the whole two years. And it's just been like my whole mood, my story, everything that happened to me in these two years. Yeah. I just, yeah, I penned everything down and I made Boy Alone with it. This is uh, Eddie Kadi. Congo swag, uh, an ambassador from Congo. This is the legendary comedian out of Africa. You know, he's a gentleman. He, he, he likes his job. Gas me, but don't gas me too loud. Uh, and he loves Africa. Affirmation, Portugal again. Headlining. Well, like the hundred times. Yeah, man. Yeah, but shout out to you know, whole team. Affirmation, you know, crazy partners. Yeah. African music. CNN. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere else. But well, it's amazing to see what's happening. YouTube streamed this live to the rest of the world. Crazy. Everybody enjoyed your performance on stage. What's that like performing to about 35,000 here? Yeah. And millions around the world, bro. Man, shout out to everybody. Just, just man, really long, long road for everybody. Yeah. Behind people behind the scenes, people yeah. in front of the scenes. I know finally just getting that recognition. Everybody, I think everybody is just soaking it in and just making the best of it. And, you know, to fight for this to finally happen. I remember it was meant to happen some time back because of COVID, yeah. and it's going to happen. Finally, it's done. And I'm off to the next. Place. Yeah. Features a king David O, a brother from South Africa, a vocalistic. Uh, all three brought their talents together. Talk to me about this record and why you decided to go with this one. Yeah, man. I mean, I feel like with my music, I always like to talk about stuff that actually is awesome. You know, so what are we came from? You know, she was asking questions. Yeah, you know, and there are times when you don't want to like be in the vibe. Mm. I feel like you know sometimes questions and names. Just Kills the vibe. Kills the vibe. Ah, it's never listening. the same after those questions. Fact. 
ass. You know, so I was just like, yo, I need to make a song about this. So like, I made a song about this. And um, I think we're all in Lagos. We came to for Kalisik. Around that period, we were all hanging out in Lagos. Around that period. So I was just like, yo, it would be crazy if I had to do this for me. So um, I played it for Kalisik. We recorded in Lagos. And um, did you do as well? I'm not sure where. I think they do record it in Kata. So yeah, that's how we made the record and it's just look at it like City Boys just talking about City Boys. Listen, the City Boys are winning right now. It's about five zero. City Boys are up, my brother. How important is Afro Nation to us? Afro Nation has allowed people to understand that Afrobeats has reached the world. There's no more debate. Hmm. Because 2019, there was a lot of guys from the UK, which is where Afrobeats was brewing up, right? The hmm. modern day Afrobeats yeah. was brewing up. 2022, three years later, even though we were indoors, but actually it was more effective being indoors because we got to consume the music. Yeah. We've now come, and you know this better than yeah. anyone, we've now come at 2022 and there are people coming from Malaysia, Vietnam, Switzerland, mm. Norway, mm. Congo, Norway, US Trust of A. Me. They're coming from everywhere. Every so it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to know that our music has reached places that we can never reach. And, and we've seen that. And not also that, it's also influenced people that have been in music a long time. Wow. We've just witnessed Chris Brown. <laughs> Not only give us his own collaborations of songs, songs that he's jumped on for remixes, yep. like his dance moves are yep. Afrobeats. Yeah, I love Afrobeats, but, but Afro Nation deserve their flowers. Uh, this is Small God, aka Big God, aka Abontin. We're outside. An ambassador of Ghana, an ambassador of Africa. Brother, you're doing everything, music, Ooh. fashion. Ooh. What exactly are we going to tell the people that Small God is now doing in 2022? Boy, boy, Small God is about to just fuck up the whole world. Hmm. Like, we're trying to bring the whole Africa to the world, you know. Facts. We're bringing the world to Africa, you know. Facts. We're bringing Ghana to the world, you know what Facts. I'm saying? So this is what we're doing. You know, all the way from <laughs> Australia. Australia. How you doing? How you, How you doing? doing? <laughs> Listen, you're here. You've played at Afro Nation. You're an incredible DJ. Uh, you. What are your thoughts? about the festival so far? I am absolutely inspired mm -hmm. and it's just coming all the way from Australia like it's it's a uh, it's so good to be around so many black people and just seeing how Afrobeats is moving the world and changing everything so I am just inspired and I feel great and I just don't want this weekend to be over. What does it feel like to be rugby tackled by women in Australia and in Sweden? Uh, um, the girls, them dada, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's love. It's love at the end of the day. It's love. It's true love. And it feels amazing. It's important for us to do that, you know, especially that Pan African movement. We're in Portugal now. So for me, it means so much to be able to do the music we do back home in Portugal. It's too much. Too much. Listen, you're dripping from head to toe. Thank I've you. seen you touring the United States of America. Now you're in Europe. Oh I know the bag is long. What are the ladies saying? Oh, brother, come on. Tell me. Give me a, a story. Girlfriend. One story. One story. Oh, man, you have to say that. <laughs> I have a girlfriend for real. Listen, a girlfriend. But listen, I'm proud of everything you're Thank doing. You so much. The way you're showing love with your brothers and walking together. I saw that someone say you. the African paparazzi and for real, I really believe in them. Thank Thanks. you for what you're doing. Thank you, bro. For the culture, documenting everything is super important. Thank you, brother. Enjoy your night, bro. Your brothers are out there. The after party is speaking of them. Yes, the after party time. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, talking about love, my brother, the amount of people that have come out for you across the world you've toured in america you've been to europe you've gone to australia what does it feel like to find out that your music has touched that many people around the world bro it it's a blessing man that's the best word to describe it it's a blessing big big blessing it's a blessing to to be an afrobeat artist at this time it's a blessing where everything is and um yeah i'm really blessed to be here right now mm. it's love at the end of the day it's true love like i said Debbie's my boy. I hate to say it like that, but... He's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a legend, bro. It's a legend. And yeah, we've just been, we've been friends and he loved the vibe. I lo of course, I listened to JB growing up and yeah, it was just the right time we made the, we made the music and 
it happened and it keeps going. Folks, what's going on, man? Say what Come on, bro. I'm here, okay, man. My bro coming though in oh, town. Bro, yeah. Coming to shut it down. Fam. Fire. Trust me. This, <laughs> inside. this is scoop. Well, well, what? UK scoop worldwide. Well, 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 My brother representing a lot of Nigerian and African I artists well, well, closely well. with the likes of Buju. Uh, talk to me, first of all, how has it been for, for you to now work closely with someone like Buju, who is now slowly stepping into the big shoes of artists performing in big stages around the world? Apparently, trust me, it hasn't been an easy game. But I'm going to give a shout out to Shopware. Trust me, 100, these are people that will watch and will act towards their own, you know, the way they actually act, the way they put their personality and everything. is actually what's giving us, we, the young shall go. I appreciate it. <laughs> we, the young shall go, the energy to move more further. It. And I won't lie to you, Afrobeat is taking over because people like Shopsy do. And it, maybe let me say small god, yeah. let me say Bankuli yeah. believed in it and they were actually leading all the young ones like us on and say, you know what, you can do it. If we can actually get to this space, you guys can actually get further than us. How have you felt uh, attending this festival so far? It's, it's been amazing. I think the energy has been unparalleled. Mm. Like, it's so nice for us all to be out and enjoy. Like, we've all had a tough two years yeah. to be able to be back here. And just, yeah, it's just been good vibes all through. Like, the main man himself, yeah. of course, <laughs> got to congratulate you, keep the energy going, yeah, energy God. Uh, but no, it's been great. It's been a pleasure to be here. I really appreciate the fans. Um, I do it for them, of course. I do it for you guys. And um, yeah, from the soul of my heart, from the bottom of my heart, yeah, I give back the love 100 percent Talk physically, how about romantically? What are we talking about? The ladies must be crazy. Talk to me, brother. You know what I mean? I mean I mean tell them. Oh, listen, let me tell you something. A lot of the ladies kinda hate me. Cause when it comes to you guys, you know, I'm not saying I'm rooting for you guys to be bad boys, but you're only young roots. You're traveling to France, to Amsterdam, you're in Dubai for two days, you're in New York. Listen, before we go, your performance at the Roots Picnic, I thought that was fantastic. I think the way you came on stage with the guitar, with the rendition, I think that was beautiful. And we're going to see you do stuff like that even more, because I know you're a genius, brother. Definitely, like for me, you know, the way I perform at each show is trending on, like the vibes, the energy, you know, like for instance, Roots Picnic, that was really like something that just happened well, we were rehearsing the band. Like literally, I was playing guitar and one of the backup singers she was singing and she just started singing. Then the energy in the whole room just changed. I was like, oh shit, you know. I was like, let's do that at the show. We did that at the show, you know. So every every show is different in France. It was like different vibe, the In Lyon, it was different. In Paris, it was different. In Rotterdam, it was different. So like, I just love the feel and I just I just like to. You know, Weezy has had like three days of party. Oh my days. I'm surprised that this guy is <laughs> even standing, by the way. So this is where we're chilling. Come on, come on. This is the dark spot where we're chilling. You can see the main man there, P. Montana. It's P. Montana, you know. Listen, make sure you catch him on stage so you can show the people the madness that's about to happen. All right? For now, we're over.